Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to this week's Pickleball Warehouse vlog. Today we've got quite a few high quality paddles to feature, some new and like myself, some not so new. I hope everybody out there watching has plans and time to play some pickleball today. I certainly do, so let's get to it. Being that it is already the middle of the NFL season, let's take a look at these new NFL paddles from Franklin. If you're trying to draft your NFL fan over to the great sport of pickleball, or perhaps you're a beginner to intermediate players looking for turnkey performance, the NFL paddles are definitely a strong option to consider. Besides the striking logo of either a 49ers, Chargers, Kansas City Chiefs, or LA Rams logo on their fiberglass faces, these NFL paddles are built to perform. Elongated shape, 13 millimeter polypropylene core, and like I mentioned, there's a fiberglass face which adds a little power and pop to your swing. In addition, Franklin adds their Max Grit technology, which is an outer layer, kind of improves the longevity and quality of the spin. All this performance and value for right around $100. And next up, I love saying this, this is the paddle company from Down Under. This is the second generation of the 6.0 Sapphire, part of their gem series, which also includes the ruby and the quartz. This particular model here is an elongated shape, rectangular tip, utilizes a 13 millimeter core, along with thermoform construction and 300K raw carbon fiber for incredible spin potential. I would say this paddle offers some of the best performance and bang for your buck that you can get anywhere on any site. And last up are the Yola Gen 3 paddles. Yola needs no introduction, but the 3S paddles certainly deserve some praise. Now these paddles all utilize the same construction and build in terms of a propulsion core, charged carbon surface. They all weigh in right around eight ounces and are available in the four most popular Yola shapes, that being the Perseus, the Scorpius, the Magnus, and the Hyperion. Now these paddles are definitely derivative of the prior Gen 3s and the current Mod TAs. However, there are some performance differences. Be sure to check out the forthcoming review if you want the full scoop on these paddles. And that's about all we have for you today. That about wraps it up. Thanks again for tuning into this week's vlog. And if you'd like to learn anything further about these paddles or anything else pickleball related, be sure to head over to pickleballwarehouse.com.